Hi, welcome to my channel Ruby Statement. In this video I will be teaching you how to knit this beautiful basket weave hat. It's for a baby from 6 to 12 months. It's very easy to do. I hope you guys like it and give it a try. And here is the list of materials you're going to need to make it. To make this baby hat, I'm going to use uh, this yarn from Loops and Threads, impeccable. It's medium 4, 128 grams or 245 meters, 100% acrylic, and the color is true gray. I'm going to use two circular needles. This one is 5 millimeter, will be for the, the border of the hat. And for the rest, I'm going to use this 5.5 millimeters. I'm going to need a marker, tapest needle and scissor, and a measuring tape. Something else you're going to need is a roll counter or a piece of paper and a pen or pencil. That way you keep track of your rows and that way you know when it's time to change the stitch. This time I'm going to cast my stitches a little bit different from my other hats that I've done before this one. So I'm going to start with a slip knot. And this is just to teach you other ways to cast them. And the border is really nice of the hat. So you're going to pass it through the loop. Now with the other needle, you're going to pass through the loop. You're going to net the stitch. Pull it out. And now with this one in your left hand, you're going to come here, pass it under the loop, and pass it through to come to your job. And now that you cast your second stitch. Now, you're gonna go in between these two like this, you pass it through those two. And you net a stitch, pull it out, and with this one, you're gonna come here under, pass it through, and remove the other one and pull the yarn. And not too tight. See? Again, pass through here, net that one. And again, you have to make sure that you go under that loop, not through that loop, otherwise it's not going to work the casting on. You're going to go here, under, and here. Again, you're going to come here, in between those two, pass your yarn, pull it, you see, under here, I'm going to pass it through. So this one in the front will be the one in the back of the needle. You see? So you're going to continue doing this until you have 60 stitches cast on in your left hand needle. Once you finish casting on, it will look like this. And you have to make sure that the, all this uh, border of the stitch is in the center and not twisted. So now, you're going to place your marker. And you're going to place the marker in this first row because we did a different cast on, so it will be easier to guide yourself with the marker in here. So you're going to come here and you're going to do two net. One. And two. Now you're going to do two pearls. one and two and you have to make sure that you're moving your stitches that way it's easier for you to work the next ones on the this needle so now you're going to do two net and then two pearls And like this, you're going to continue all the way around this first row. Two net, two pearl, two net, two pearls. Now 
Once you finish the first row, it will look like this in here, a little long in here, but that is normal when you do this type of cast on. So now you're going to do again two net, and when you do this net, it will pull this tighter. Okay? When you do this here, you see it's pulling that a strand of yarn in there. And it'll look fine in here. So you're going to do two net and two purl. Two net and two purl in this row and on each row until you have from four, four and a half, five centimeters long for the border of your hat. Okay. Will be from four, from six to eight rows. So from four to five centimeters, six to eight rows. So here you can see because we're working with circular needle, the net will be net and the pearls will be pearl. We always working on the right side of the piece. I finished this part and I did eight rows and it's five centimeters. I tried to do it with four, but with four it was too thin. I want it a little bit thicker and, or wider. And, uh, and that's uh, eight rows. So now we're going to start our stitch and at the same time we're going to change needles if you like you can continue with this one but i'm going to change to the half a size bigger so i'm going to start with fine net and my new needle two three four and five. Now yarn to the front, five pearls. Two, three, four, and five. Yarn to the back, five net. And that's what you're gonna do in this entire row. Five net, five pearls, five net, five pearls, five net, and you will end up with five pearls. You start with five nets and you start with uh, end up with five pearls at the end. I finished row number one and don't forget to keep track of your rows. That way uh, you know when to change uh, the stitch because we're going to be changing the stitch around. So now row number two will be exactly the same. You're going to do fine net two, three, four, and five. Yarn to the front, five rolls. Find net, down to the back, and now five pearls. If you're a beginner and you have to leave your work like this, and when you come back, you don't know where you finish, to know which one you have to work, the pearls are round stitch on the front, and the net. Are flat. So now I have to do five pearls. And like this, I'm gonna dish, do row number. I finished row two. number two. Now three and four are exactly the same as one and two. So you're gonna net the net and pearl the pearls. For four rows, exactly the same. So after I, I will look row number four if I like the width of the stitch with four row I will leave it like that otherwise I will do five but when I finish my fourth row 
I will let you know if I do one more. Okay? So it's netting the net and purling the purl. I finished my fourth row and I like the design with four row. So you don't see much right now. But after I do this design with two more repetitions, you then will see the basket weave. Okay? So now what we're going to do is these ones that I have here, these first five net, there will be pearls. So we're changing the stitches around. Now the net are pearls and the pearls will be net. So. Two. Three, four, and five. Now, yarn to the back, and these five pearl will be knit. One, two, three, four. And five. Now you will change yarn to the front, and this fine net will be pearl. Like that, you're gonna do this entire row. I finished row number one, and row number two gonna be the repetition of row number one, and row two, three, and four. So you always gonna repeat those four row by changing the position of the stitch. So now you're gonna do these five pearls. And you're gonna do fine net. So you're gonna do that for four row. And then after the fourth row, you start all over again, changing uh, the pearls will be net and the nets will be pearls. Here I finished those four rows, and you can see already the design of the stitch. So these are the repetitions that you're going to do until you have 18 centimeters before you start the decrease on the top. So now here, these five pearl, you will make them net, and this five net will be pearl, and so on. So make sure that you're keeping track of your four rows, because you don't want to do one section with three rows and another one with five. Um, that way uh, it will look uneven each squares. So you have to make sure that you have four row on each section. And if you don't have a row counter, you can have a piece of paper and pen and write one, two, three, and four. Each time you do a row, you mark. And when you finish those four, you go again back to one, two, three, and four, like so. Okay? So here, these five pro will be fine net. Like my first first repetition. And five. And then these five net will be five pearls. So I will meet you here when I have my 18 centimeters long and is from here to the top, 18 centimeters. And I will let you know how many of these sections I do on mine, okay? This is how the stitch looks so far, and it looks amazing. So I still have some uh, 8 centimeters more to go, but I'm loving this design. Here I have my desired length before I start doing the decrease, and here is where each row uh, ends and start the next one, and it's seamless with this stitch. You don't see it look perfect. Okay. And now we're going to start uh, the next repetition, and I did seven in here, okay? So this is the first one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to start number eight, and in number eight, we're going to start doing our decrease. So now we're going to do this, the change of the stitch, but we don't going to do any decrease in this first row, okay? 
so you're gonna purl the net and net the pearls in this row. Then in the next one, we're gonna start doing our first row of the crease. Once you finish that row, we're gonna start with our first row of decrease. So you're gonna start with two pearls, separate, one and two, and two together for our first decrease. And now we have one pearl left. Now we're gonna do two nets, separate, one, and two, and two together for a decrease. And we have one net left. And this is the repetition that you're gonna do for your decrease. You're gonna do two pearl, then separate, one, and two, and the next two together. and then you have one left. So now you're gonna end up with four net and four pearls on each square. Once you finish that row, the next row gonna be uh, decreased as well. So this time we're gonna do two together, two together, two together, two together. So these four here will be two together and a pearl stitch, two together and a pearl stitch, and then the net will be two together and the net stitch, two together and the net stitch, and then the pearl two and two. Like that is how you're gonna do this decrease. You have to work the stitches as you're supposed to. So these two here together are two pearls, and the next two, two pearls again. And you turn to the back, you're gonna do two net together. and two net together. Now you turn to the front and you're going to do two pearls together, two pearls together and like so on you're going to continue the decrease in this row. I finished that row of two together, two together, two together. So in this row we're going to do the last decrease and we're going to do these two pearls together in a pearl stitch, those two net together in a net stitch, these two pearls in the pearl stitch and the net together in the next stitch. So I have fewer stitches left here. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 stitches. So I'm going to end up with 12 stitches after this row and that will be enough for me to close the top. Okay. So now I don't need the marker because uh, with this other needle I'm gonna do the last decrease because it's getting too difficult to decrease any here with this, uh, these needles. But first I'm gonna do these two together in a pearl stitch and the same needle here and I'm gonna pass it Take it out and place it in this needle. And then now I can move this in here. More this way. And it's easier for me to continue with the decrease. Now these two here is a net stitch. Those two together in the next knit stitch. And like that you're going to continue your decrease until the end. Okay? Two together, two together, two together.
Here I have my 12 stitches left. So now I'm going to cut a tail long enough. That way with my tapestry needle I can pass through these 12 stitches twice. Okay, and I will tie them really well, secure them. I always like to pass them twice, that way it's nice and secure the top. And then I will pass my needle to the inside and loose that tail. Down here you're going to even the, st the, the border, it's a little uneven here, so you're going to even this up in here, it's not that much but until you even it up in here, okay. now it's nice and even and you will bring it to the inside and lose that tail. So it look fantastic. So if you like, you can do a pom pom. Um, I don't want a pom pom for this one for William, so I will do one and put it here on the top. But you see, the stitch continue all the way up to the decrease. It looks really nice. Once you finish sewing the top, it will look like this. You can leave it like this, or you can do a pom pom like I mentioned before. Uh, I'm gonna leave a link here for uh, how to make pom pom. But I have this cardboard here. Anyway, I'm gonna uh, give you a quick um, uh, explanation how I do my pom poms. This one measure 10 by 12, and then I cut a square in the center. This is a cardboard, and look, I have a lot of yarn left. So this project don't use a lot, and I'm gonna wrap around here, over and over and over. The more you wrap the thicker is your pom-pom. So once you have the, the sire thickness, you're gonna cut your yarn, cut a piece, and then pass it through one side and the other side, tie it very well in the other side, cut in here, cut in here, and then give the shape to the pom-pom, and you are done. With the pom-pom, look like this. You look fantastic. So now I'm going to put it on um, William and I will show you the end result. Well, this is the end result and it looks amazing. This hat could be for a boy or a girl. 
this color for both or you can change the color around for either so i hope you guys like it and give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are not already a subscriber and if you make this piece and you want to send me some pictures you can do it through my facebook page ruby stedman or you can find me at my instagram ruby stedman crochet please share my videos with friends and family that way you help me grow here in youtube and don't forget to check my channel for other videos. I wish you have a beautiful day. Bye.